are at Trails Cafe in Griffith Park. Hey, great to see you. Good to <laughs> see you too. Perfect parking situation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey man, look, they say vegan right on the menu, man. Or right on the label. They vegan with a little heart. I love that. Oh, and check this out. It's vegan strawberry rhubarb oh, ve mini well, pie. I'm full, pie. but I could have a little bit of that. <laughs> vegan rhubarb pie. Well, I love what you guys do. I mean, you show people how to do it, which is so important, because I think a lot of people increasingly want to, to eat vegan and to eat healthier and to eat in a way that's not destroying the planet. But a lot of times people just don't know how, yeah. you know? So showing how people how to cook is critical. You know, sometimes people come to class and they're not vegan or vegetarian many times, mm -hmm. and they just want to integrate more healthy ways of eating into their diet. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, sometimes we'll get a question like, what's wrong with eating an egg? When you're asked that question, which I'm sure you are, mm -hmm. <laughs> a million, mm -hmm. billion times a day, <laughs> yeah. how, do you, how do you deal with that question? Well, I mean, I think the first thing is the fact that we don't need to eat eggs. We don't need to eat dairy products. We don't need to eat meat. You know, so I mean, that's the first myth that's out there. People think they have to eat these products for certain nutrients. So that's one myth that you first have to dispel. And then once people recognize that it's a choice whether to eat it or not, why would they want to do something that causes harm unnecessarily? Hens that are producing eggs in this country the vast majority of them today live in small cages where they're packed so tightly they can't even stretch their wings. Um, they have their feathers worn off, they have bruises and abrasions on their bodies. Even in situations where egg-laying hens may be kept in less abusive situations, you still have an inherent problem uh, at day one because at the hatchery that hatches egg-laying hens, you have both males and females that are hatched. The males are literally thrown away on the day they hatch. I've seen dumpsters full of unwanted male chicks. Um, or they're killed by what's called high-speed maceration, where they're basically ground up alive. So mm -hmm. there's a variety of ways that they're killed, and it's all violent, and it's all unnecessary. I and mean, that's the thing. Most people grow up eating meat, milk, and eggs without really consciously thinking about it. Human beings, our bodies are best designed to eat plant foods, mm -hmm. not animal foods. And that's why we see so many problems now with heart disease, mm -hmm. cancer. The way we eat has profound consequences for ourselves, but also for animals, for the environment, and, um, and we don't have to be killing ourselves and we don't have to be killing animals, we don't have to be destroying the planet. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's really yeah. kind of ridiculous when you sort of step back and look at it. It makes no sense. We do hear that people say, what about, what about that small percent of happy animals that are allowed to roam free and happen to, you know, pop out an egg? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with me eating that or can some milk of a happy cat? A large part of this boils down to the relationship. And on factory farms, the animals are just commodities. Right. They're not seen as living, feeling creatures at all on farms that are cage-free or free-range, uh, but still commercial, the animals are still commodities. Even though the labels say nice things, right. the reality is not very good, the animals don't have good welfare, and they're not treated with respect. Um, and that's the bottom line. It's conceivable that somebody could rescue chickens, those hens will lay eggs. At that point, you know, if those birds are allowed to live out their lives, and if the primary reason the person has them is to provide them a good home, and they're laying eggs, they're, that might, people could possibly eat those from it ethically, although I wouldn't eat them, I don't think we need them, but if those animals are living out their lives, you know, that's probably okay from an ethical perspective. You know, some, some people ask me like, oh, you're vegan, you know, what if you were in France and you were on a farm, and like, wouldn't you just go for it and try a little of the milk or whatever? And I think you just don't need it. You realize how much you don't need it. Why would I want to drink cow's milk? Right. You know, that's the perfect food for baby calves. It's not very good food for humans. Right. Uh, what other species drinks the milk of another species? What yeah. other species drinks the milk past weaning? That's the thing about milk, too. Inherently, you have a cow who's given birth, and she starts lactating, and that milk is intended for the baby. Mm -hmm. So on large farms or small farms, anywhere where dairy is being produced, the baby calves are taken away so that milk can be taken from the cow and then fed to humans. So People are not any longer milking yeah, cows. Not no. by hand, no, so, that's right. So, I mean, the quality control isn't there. So, you know, there's like different pressure and, you know, there's bleeding involved and there's pus that comes from those kinds of sores, you know, when yeah. a machine is touching an animal so and it's all standardized, but we're all different shapes. Do you think people know that there is blood and pus in milk? I don't think people think very much about what's in milk and they don't think very much about the fact that it's unhealthy and does have contaminants, like you say, pus. And the dairy industry is one of the most powerful 
You yeah. know, every yeah. kid that is get, is part of the school lunch program oh. is required to be given a glass of cow's milk with their meal, even if they don't want it. Getting kids hooked on milk right. and d d developing habits that are bad habits. Right. Our bodies are not made to drink cow's milk. <laughs> you know, lactose is the sugar in cow's milk that is works for calves. And, it, you know, some humans can drink it without having problems, but a lot of people have real problems when they drink milk with the lactose. So now, of course, instead of just not drinking the cow's milk, they come in with another product to sell. Right. Crazy. You know, it's like we're <laughs> driving with our foot on the gas and the brake at the same right. time. It doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Most people in this country are eating in a terrible way and are learning from each other, and bad has become normal. You know, it's normal to have to take heart medication at a certain time. You know, you are battling a multi-billion dollar industry and it's just you and your broccoli. And you realize it's easy if you just learn oh gosh, a few great yeah. recipes like your delicious tofu scramble. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Developing new habits. Yeah. But for some people, change is hard. And if you've been doing something the same way for a long time, doing something a little differently can seem difficult, but it really isn't. Mm -mm. You know, instead of getting cow's milk cheese, you can get Daya cheese or soy cheese. There's oh, starting ridiculous. to be some great cheeses now. Definitely. Instead of drinking cow's milk, you can have almond milk or soy milk or rice milk mm -hmm. or hemp milk or mm -hmm. oat milk or nut milk. There's all kinds of milk you can have instead of cow's milk. Do you feel optimistic right now that people are getting it, that people are their eyes are opening and are we are we getting through? I think so. <laughs> I think so. I'm very optimistic. We're now in the process of people learning, going, that doesn't seem right. And when they're willing to confront the reality and make decisions that are consistent with their values, they're shifting. They're shifting away from supporting this cruel, abusive system. Um, and we also, in addition to seeing lots of restaurants that have vegan options or restaurants that are specifically vegan, we're seeing farmers markets spreading. Yeah. We're seeing community supported agriculture programs spreading. We're seeing community gardens spreading. We're seeing people that are just planting food in their front lawn. I think just educating is critical. So what you guys are doing is wonderful. You know, bring people in, showing them how to cook, and also doing it in a positive way. Finish up that pie. Yeah, man, gotta jump on this pie for sure. So good.